carry out the following safety precautions before starting with the dismantling activities. Switch off lube oil system. Close starting air valve. Open the indicator cocks. Engage the turning gear device. When exchanging a camshaft section, the following engine parts should be removed. Camshaft door. Valve rocker arm bracket. Starting air distributor. Also needed are the following tools which are delivered standard with the engine. Begin with opening the camshaft space of the relevant cylinder. After that, the fuel cam is being turned into top position of the compression stroke so that the fuel roller is lifted as far as possible in order to block it. For this purpose, the distance piece of the locking pin needs to be removed. By removing the locking pin, the distance piece can be taken out. After that, the locking pin is fitted again. Now the guide bush of the fuel roller has to be lifted, with a crowbar for instance. The locking pin has to be tightened completely. As a result, the fuel roller becomes free from the fuel cam. In order to lift the inlet and exhaust roller too, the push rods need to be removed. For that purpose, also remove the valve rocker arm support. Check if the inlet and exhaust rollers are on the base circle of the cams. Loosen all six fastening bolts of the rocker arm bracket. Remove the bolts and place a M16 eye bolt or a hoisting plate in the provided threaded hole on top of the rocker arm support. Subsequently lift the rocker arm support from the cylinder head. Then remove the push rods one by one. Turn the engine in scavenging top position. In this position, it is easy to mount the locking strip to the guide bushes, which keeps the inlet, as well as the exhaust roller, in an upper position so that these rollers become free from the cams too. Remove all socket head screws of both flanges except for one on each side. This is the bracket for dismantling and mounting the camshaft section. Place the bracket under the camshaft and fasten it by means of two bolts to the engine block. Tighten the adjusting bolt so that the bracket is pushed against the shaft. Now turn back the two remaining bolts 8mm from the flange. This is the exact tolerance to pull the shaft out of the dowel pinholes.
In order to slide the camshaft, the starting air distributor needs to be removed. First, take away the protecting plates at vibration damper side. Behind this, you will find the starting air distributor. Remove all pilot airlines and the air supply line. Mark them in respect to each other to avoid mistakes during mounting and keep the pipes clean. Now the air distributor can be taken away. If necessary, the distributor can be pressed off the dowel pins with a plastic hammer at the inside of the camshaft space. Remove the camshaft cover of the vibration damper space to disassemble the starting air distributing shaft. Finally, remove the intermediate disc to place the camshaft extractor. This is the camshaft extractor. Install the extractor over the last journal of the camshaft. By tightening both bolts, it is now possible to move up the complete camshaft. As a result, the centering rim and the dowel pins are pulled out of the shaft journals. As soon as the dowel pins are free, the last two bolts can be removed so that the camshaft section rests on the bracket. Now the camshaft section can be rolled outside over the bracket. With a lifting device, the camshaft section can be hoisted away from the bracket. When inspecting the camshaft bearing, the bolts in the other compartment have to be loosened too. After which, on this side, one can remove the shaft journal from the centering rim and the dowel pin using the extractor. <laughs>